Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this crop top you will need a weight 3 yarn, a 3.5 hook and a 5mm hook. In this tutorial I make a size small. For all other sizes check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So using your 3.5 hook we're going to chain 16. Then single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into every chain to the end. So at the end of the row we're going to chain one and then turn your work and then we're going to single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way across. And then we're going to repeat this row until we have a total of 102 rows. So here I have my 102 rows. So next we're going to slip stitch the two ends together. So when your two ends are slip stitched together you should have something that looks like this. So now we're just going to turn it inside out so that the seam is in the inside. And now we're going to change to our 5mm hook and then chain one and then we're going to make 102 single crochet all the way around. When you have 102 single crochet completed, we're going to slip stitch to that very first single crochet just to close the round. Chain one and then turn your work. Make sure that at the end of every round you turn your work. So once you've turned, single crochet into that space that very first stitch and then single crochet all the way around. At the end of the round slip stitch into that first single crochet and then you're going to chain one and then turn your work and single crochet all the way around you're going to repeat this until you have a total of 16 rows completed. Just make sure that at the end of every round you turn your work. That's very important. So here I've just completed my 16th round. So next just chain one, turn your work. And from, from where you are now, we're going to count 51 stitches. So count 51 stitches and on that 51st stitch, we're going to place our stitch marker. So into that same stitch as your chain one, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's your single crochet two together. So now single crochet into every stitch all the way across until you reach the second stitch from your stitch marker. So here we are at the second stitch from our stitch marker. So insert your hook into the next stitch Pull your yarn through, take out your stitch marker, insert your hook into that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through three. Then chain one and then turn your work, insert your hook into that very first stitch, 
pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through three. Then we're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. When you have two stitches remaining, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next, then pull your yarn through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then chain one, turn your work, then count 23 stitches from where you are now and mark that 23rd stitch. And now we're just going to single crochet into each of these stitches until we reach the stitch marker. So now you should have 23 single crochet. So next we're going to chain one and then turn your work, insert your hook into that very first stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through three. Then single crochet into each stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. When you have two stitches remaining, insert your hook into the next stitch pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then chain one, turn your work, and then single crochet into every stitch all the way across. Then we're going to chain one and then turn your work, insert your hook into that very first stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through all three loops, then single crochet into each stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. When you have two stitches remaining, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into that last stitch, and then pull your yarn through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then chain one, and you're going to repeat those last two rows over and over again until you're left with three stitches. So here I have three stitches remaining. So chain one and then turn your work, single crochet into each of these three stitches. Then chain one, turn your work, insert your hook into that very first stitch Pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through and then insert your hook into that last stitch, pull your yarn through and then yarn over and pull through all four loops. Then chain one, turn your work, and then we're going to single crochet into that last remaining stitch. And then once you have that done, we're just going to fasten off. So that's our first triangle completed. So next we're going to do the second front triangle. So we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to work 23 single crochet across. So 
right beside this triangle you're going to skip the next stitch so skip that next stitch and then attach your yarn to the next one Then insert your hook, pull your yarn through, and then chain one. And then make your first single crochet into that same stitch. And then single crochet into the next 22 single crochets. So all together you should have 23 single crochet. So next we're going to chain one and then turn your work. Then insert your hook into that very first stitch. Pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three. Then we're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. When you have two stitches left, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through and then insert your hook into that last stitch, pull your yarn through and then yarn over and pull through all three. Then chain one, turn your work and then we're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So when you've single crocheted across that row, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. And now we're going to insert our hook into that very first stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three. Then single crochet into each stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. So when you reach these last two stitches, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the last stitch, pull your yarn through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. So as you can see, this triangle is the very same as the other triangle. So just repeat the same process you did for the first triangle. And then once you have that done, fasten off like you did with this first triangle. So now the front of your top should look like this. So next we're going to flip it over and we're going to start working on the back. So at the back you should have 51 stitches unworked. So make sure and count your stitches. So now we're going to attach our yarn to the right hand corner, just right beside the last triangle that you made. So just tie your yarn. Then insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain one. Then we're going to insert your hook into that very same stitch. Pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch and then pull your yarn through. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're going to single crochet into every stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. When you have two stitches remaining, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through insert your hook into the next, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three stitches. Then chain one, turn your work, 
insert your hook into that same stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three. Then single crochet into each stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. Once you have two stitches left, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three. Then chain one and turn your work and then count 23 stitches from where you are now and mark that stitch. Then we're going to single crochet into every stitch until we reach the stitch marker. Then chain one and then turn your work. Insert your hook into that very first stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through all three. Then single crochet into every stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. So once you have two stitches left, insert your hook into the next, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the last stitch, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three. Then chain one and turn your work. Then single crochet into every stitch all the way across. Then chain one, turn your work. Insert your hook into that very first stitch, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into the next, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three, then single crochet into every stitch all the way across until two stitches remain. When you have two stitches left, insert your hook into the next, pull your yarn through, insert your hook into that last stitch, pull your yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three. So as you can see, this triangle is the same as your other two triangles. So just repeat that same process for this triangle. Once you have that done, we're going to fasten off just like you did with the other two triangles. So now your top should look like this. So we're going to do our last triangle. So we're going to attach our yarn here and then we're just going to single crochet all the way across. So we're going to skip the stitch that's right beside the last triangle we made. So skip that and then attach to the next stitch. Then insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain one. Then make your first single crochet into that same stitch. And then we're going to single crochet into the remaining 22 stitches. And then just repeat the same process as you had for the other three triangles. At the end of this row, you're going to do, you're going to chain one, turn your work then decrease at each end. After that row, you're going to just single crochet all the way across and just repeat the same pattern you had for the other three triangles. But once you have, when you come to the end of this triangle, we're not going to fasten off. So here I'm just making my last single crochet on this triangle. 
so we're not going to fasten off like we did with the other triangles so we're just going to chain one and then we're going to turn our work and next we're going to single crochet down along here and then up along the next triangle then down again up here and then down along here and then up along here and then down and then all the way up until we reach the first single crochet So once you have single crocheted all the way around, you've single crocheted all the way around these triangles and you're back to where you started, we're just going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet. So now we're going to change back to our 3.5 hook. And now we're going to chain five. Then single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each of the next three chains. And now we're going to slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on the side of your triangle. Now just turn your work slightly and we're going to skip over those two slip stitches and then working into the next four single crochet in the back loop only make four single crochet. Then chain one turn your work, make four single crochet working into the back loop only, And then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on the side of your triangle. Then turn your work, skip over those two slip stitches, then make four single crochet working into the back loop only. Then chain one, turn your work, make four single crochet working into the back loop only and then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on the side of your triangle. 
then turn your work skip those slip stitches make four single crochet and just repeat that pattern all the way around the armhole area so you're going to begin you're going to start all the way around here then all the way up along the other side until you reach the peak of this triangle right here So once you've reached the peak of your triangle, you're just going to fasten off. And then you're going to attach your yarn to the peak of this triangle and chain five and then just repeat that ribbing pattern all the way down along this side in the exact same way. So just attach your yarn to that middle stitch up here on the peak. And then insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain five. single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each of the next three chains. Then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on the side of your triangle. Then turn your work and skip those two slip stitches and then make four single crochet working into the back loop only. Then chain one and turn your work. Make four single crochet working into the back loop only. Then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on the side of your triangle. Then turn your work, skip over those two slip stitches, make four single crochet back loop only, chain one, four single crochet back loop only, and then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way around until you reach the peak on the triangle behind. And then when you have that done, we're going to fasten off. So now we're going to attach our yarn to the center stitch and then chain five and we're going to do that same ribbing up along the side here and then just across. So insert your hook into that center stitch and then just attach your yarn. Make sure that you leave a tail of about five to six inches. So 
So insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain five. Then single crochet into that second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each of the next three chains. Then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. Then turn your work, skip those two slip stitches, make four single crochet working into the back loop only. Chain one, turn your work, make four single crochet back loop only, slip stitch into each of the next two single crochets, turn your work, skip those slip stitches, make four single crochet back loop only. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way up along until you reach the very top. So here I've reached towards the top. I've chained one, make four single crochet back loop only, and then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. Chain one and then turn your work. And this time we're not going to skip our slip stitches. We're going to work a single crochet in the back loop of the next two slip stitches. And then make four single crochet working into the back loop. So all together you should have six single crochet. Then chain one, turn your work, make six single crochet working into the back loop only. And you're going to repeat this row for a further 24 more rows. So now your top will look like this. So now we're going to attach our yarn to the stitch in the middle again, chain five, and then work that ribbing up along the edge of the second triangle. So to attach our yarn in the centre, we're just going to flip our piece over and then work from behind. Just flip those two pieces forward out of the way. Insert your hook right into that hole right there. And then just attach your yarn. Insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain five.
single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each of the remaining three chains. Then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. Then turn your work and then skip those two slip stitches, make four single crochet back loop only, then chain one, turn your work, four single crochet back loop only and then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way up along until you reach the very top. And then you're going to repeat the same process you had for the other side with your strap. And then with our tail and our yarn needle we're just going to fold this piece over. And we're going to make a few stitches just to secure it. And then you can just make a few stitches behind just to secure that bit. So now that the front is done, we need to do the back. So just attach your yarn to the center, chain five, do the ribbing up along just like you did towards the front and then continue on with your strap, fasten off, attach your yarn to the centre again and do your ribbing up along this side, just this, the very same way as your front. And then you're going to do that same thing again by folding over the two ribbed pieces and stitching them together. So it's just like the front. So now turn your top the wrong side out and with the tail and our yarn needle just stitch the straps together on both sides. And then once you have that done weave in any ends and then turn your top the right side out and you're good to go. If you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up please subscribe. Don't forget the free written pattern for all other sizes is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.